In the heart of the vast Atlantic Ocean lies a hidden paradise. Nine Portuguese islands, known as the Azores, with picture-perfect landscapes, emerge from the depths where emerald hills roll into the horizon and cliffs dramatically meet the crashing waves. A place where nature reigns supreme and time stands still. Join me on my extraordinary two-week journey visiting three islands of this captivating archipelago where adventure and tranquility harmonize in perfect balance. Welcome to the Azores. returned to the tea plantation because it is such a beautiful day again I am so lucky with the weather look how beautiful it is in the sunshine I flew the drone again such a fantastic location I can't get over the beauty of the islands here and it's a Sunday there are not that many people even though it's already 10 o'clock it's absolutely fantastic again there are fireworks there's always a celebration over here these people love to party <laughs> that's for sure but oh I can't deal with all this beauty here it's so peaceful as well I don't want to go home tomorrow <laughs> Indeed, it was my last complete day at the Azores and Sao Miguel, so I wanted to enjoy it to the fullest. I walked around the tea plantation for quite a while since the sun was out and then took the car to drive all the way east where you can find some nice viewpoints with lovely gardens.
Then I drove further down to Furnas to explore another part of the park that I missed the first time I visited. rain and I am back at the park at Furnas in the valley of the ferns <laughs> it feels as I am in the middle of the tropical forest <laughs> it's really cool but I'm gonna put the camera away because it's not good for the camera The weather changed from completely sunny <laughs> to completely drenched. I mean, <laughs> look how, how misty it is right now. It looks so different. And like half an hour ago, it was green, blue, it was so nice. So yeah, you see how fast it can go over here. Oh well, now, we are, now I, at least I experienced the rainforest in the rain. <laughs> Final day here at Sao Miguel. I am exploring Terra Nostra Park, which is a beautiful exotic garden. Um, last time in 2015, I went swimming here, which is now way less relaxing because there are so many people now. So I'm glad I did it back then. So I'm just gonna hike around here and enjoy. Parque Terra Nostra is a botanical garden built in the 18th and 19th century and one of the most popular sites on Sao Miguel. It consists of an upper part which leads through dense woods and a lower part that looks more like a park with lawns, pools and fountains. You can easily spend half a day walking around and admiring all the flowers, trees and plants here.
I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next videos. Thanks for watching!